Greetings, Grapple fans! Chikara founder Mike Quackenbush calling the action live from the Wrestle Factory in Philadelphia, our home base and training facility. Up right now is one of our featured bouts at Go Eat Worms, and it pits a standout from Beyond Wrestling and Evolve, Matt Riddle, against one of wrestling's fastest rising stars. We take a whole lot of pride in the man called Mr. Touchdown. I cannot wait for this one, fans. Matt Riddle, Mark Angelosetti, up next. Thanks so much for checking in on social media with us. Aaron Oster, Calypso Sage, following along on Twitter. Car Smile Steve, we're using hashtag Go Eat Worms. Chris Levin to officiate this one. Opening bell has sounded. And we last saw Matt Riddle one year ago at the inaugural Johnny Kidd Invitational when he stunned all of us by beating Hollow Wicked, one of the most decorated athletes in all of Chikara history. You better believe, given his background, he is a submission specialist, and he loves it down on the mat. Now, both these guys, to be fair, two sport athletes, but the mixed martial arts background of Matt Riddle gives him a certain dangerous quality that, well, nobody else here at Chikara can really boast of. Riddle better not take touchdown too lightly. Both these guys in their physical prime, but touchdown has way more experience as a pro wrestler. Riddle only really made that transition a few years ago. He tried to lock that arm. Touchdown had to tumble forward to take the pressure off. Neither guy could get the better of that exchange. One more stalemate. Shooting in for a double leg is Mr. Touchdown, and boy, was Riddle ready. Whoa, he's looking really quick for a, a triangle, looks like to me. No, couldn't get it, but he floated right over. What great counter for counter wrestling by these two. I hope to see a very sporting contest. To be honest, I'd be surprised if I saw either guy breaking the rules here. And it would be a great statement on the part of Chikara as Matt Riddle, a regular with Beyond Wrestling. One more time, deep collar and elbow tie-up. Stepping inside, touchdown, took him down. Already defending, though, from down on the mat is Riddle. He's in a great position to defend there. Making it very, very difficult for touchdown to strike. Tried to go behind the tricep, turned him over. Touchdown was ready. One more time, he is out of harm's way. I'm impressed with Mr. Touchdown, who has managed to match hold for hold down there with former UFC fighter Matt Riddle, the current Evolve champion. Lacing up their fingers. Test of strength here. Riddle is a little bit taller than touchdown. When it comes to upper body strength, though, they are fairly evenly matched. Both guys really just in terrific shape. Great cardiovascular conditioning as well. Long matches do not phase these guys. Came right inside, one of that double wrist lock, and touchdown was not hanging around for that thing to be locked on. Sometimes referred to as the Kimura, depending on the positioning. That double wrist lock held behind the back, wildly painful, and a very dangerous submission hold. Touchdown went behind the head to Mayor Riddle. Can he keep him down? Turns him over. Lamahi Straw cradle Riddle. Shoulders are down. That's a great way to catch a guy like Riddle off guard. You get him thinking about submission holds and then you slap a pinning combination on him, make him go right while he's looking left, and you might sneak one out over Matt Riddle. Watch here how Riddle slows the pace down. Touchdown was dictating the pace there for a moment. Riddle doesn't want to let him continue to do that. Rock solid forearm exchange here between two fantastic athletes. Riddle can mix it up though. Those kicks are vicious. Peppering the chest. You can already see the discoloration across the pectoral muscles of Mark Angelicetti. Raring up with some speed. Riddle comes flying with a great looking forearm. Off the perpendicular ropes, he follows up with another forearm. Both of those perfectly placed. Matt Riddle soars with another flying forearm. Hooks him up. Terrific exploder suplex. Popularized by Jun Akiyama in the 1990s in Japan, the exploder suplex made its way here to the United States over 20 years ago. And talk about a great looking senton there. Matt Riddle now mixing it up. We saw strikes, we saw a suplex, and then a simple body attack, the senton or backsplash. Thinking about the origins of the Exploder Suplex, the origin of the Senton dates back more than 50 years, popularized in Mexico. Used by the original El Santo, used by Gory Guerrero. 
used by Rito Romero. Oh, what a terrific defensive kick by Matt Riddle. This guy is so innovative. Great looking gut red suplex. He maintains that upside down waist lock and floats right over the top. Reminds me of my old rival and sparring partner, Claudio Castagnoli. Oh, touchdown, one of the block. He couldn't do it. That's only one of, in my opinion, three ways you can block that. Lace your arms through the legs of your opponent and hold on so that he cannot fully rotate your hips. Sometimes that will actually cause you to land on your opponent to break the hold. Matt Riddle swung too high. That kick was telegraphed. Touchdown was ready. Drives the wind out of the midsection. Backflip the touchdown to create separation. It was too much separation. Riddle was ready. He's caught him up on his shoulders. Up and over has been intercepted. Reverse suplex. Touchdown nailed it. Keep your eye on Mark Angelo said he low flying bulldog found the mark. Look at the far leg. That back press was only good for two. Riddle was coming out way before three. A look of exhaustion on the face of Matt Riddle. Well, this is when Mr. Touchdown needs to capitalize. Catch him while he's sucking wind. You can slap a hold on between breaths. You're gonna do all the more damage. Scooping up that leg. Touchdown's having a tough time trying to defend against. He just got dumped. Single leg sweep put him on the back of his brain. Riddle going right behind the pit of the left knee. Gonna try breaking down the legs. And Mark's got very muscular legs to be fair, but Matt Riddle is just a scientist when it comes to breaking down a body part. Had an undefeated streak going in UFC before transitioning to pro wrestling. And you're gonna see exactly why. He knows how to break a man down. He went behind the knee to pick him up, but that's a dangerous place to be with Matt Riddle, Mark. Touchdown's gonna be better off up on his feet, but that's only if Riddle lets him get back to a vertical base. This is where Riddle is his most dangerous fans, make no mistake about it. Achilles tendon hold applied here. You might think he's gonna step over into a half crab. Well, he can do a whole lot of damage without doing anything more than what you see here, fans. That left forearm comes right up underneath the Achilles tendon and it pinches where the tendon is thinnest. Wildly painful hold that sends a burning sting all the way up your legs. Take it from a guy who knows. Simple open-handed blow from Matt Riddle was all it took to shut down the defensive strategy of Mr. Touchdown, Mark Angelicetti. This match has really swung in the favor of Matt Riddle. Peeling touchdown up off the mat. Riddle now, fireman's carry position. Touchdown doesn't want to find out how this ends. Series of elbows, waist lock reversal, deadlift, German suplex. What great execution on the part of Riddle. A lot of people doubted the efficacy with which he could transition into becoming a professional wrestler. Well, if coming out wearing the Evolve Championship wasn't indicator enough, just look at the great form on that German suplex. Woo! Telegraph that senton. He came in with such elevation that Mark was able to get his knees up from underneath. When it works, that added elevation makes the senton all the more devastating, but it did not pay dividends there. Fireman's carry position one more time. Caught that knee strike. Touchdown turns him around. Out the back door. Riddles on his feet. Oh, he came flying in. Couldn't catch him. They've clasped hands. Look at the strength. Oh, repeater power bomb. No. Oh, he flew in with a knee strike. But touchdown caught him and lifted him with one arm and planted him in the dead center of the ring. Tremendous display of strength and intestinal fortitude by the former Young Lions Cup champ, the former Campeon de Pereas, switches right into it. Great looking leg submission down on the ground. Achilles tendon hold is applied. Riddle's technique has just been fantastic throughout this match. Win or lose, these guys are just wrestling an outstanding contest. Kicking away here. Caught him right in the side of the face.
Both these guys have expended so much energy thus far in the match, and realistically here, it is anybody's game. Touchdown now, scooching toward Matt Riddle. Forehead to forehead in the dead center of the ring. What a combination there. You heard the sound. Every single one of Riddle's strikes on point. Touchdown flies in with a knee, halts the offensive stride of Matt Riddle. Testing out that leg, making sure it can bear the weight. He was ready. Oh, no. Real mental error on the part of touchdown. There was no way Riddle was going to run directly underneath. And instead, he swept out the left leg of touchdown. A lot of punishment delivered to the thigh, to the quad, the knee, and the calf muscle thus far by Riddle. Great looking axe kick. Another one right across the chest. Continuing to just pepper touchdown. Matt Riddle stalking his prey. No response from touchdown. Unable to mount a defense. He's up on his vertical base, but that's about it. No. Touchdown's got something left in the tank as Matt Riddle's about to find out. Open himself up wide. Oh! That knee was on point. Huge senton backsplash for the win. It's one, it's two, it's, oh, it's only two. Stay down. You can hear Riddle taunting touchdown. He said, stay down. Matt Riddle's thrown a whole lot at him. Matt Riddle scaling to the top turnbuckle. Well, that's dodgy when you have no footwear on. It just takes too long. You got to be very careful. You don't want your toes tangled up in the turnbuckle. And the superplex of Mark Angelo Setti, Mr. Touchdown. Whoa, out the back door. He's looking for that bro mission. Whoa, no. Oh, he's got him. Matt Riddle leaps. Tombstone pile driver. That should be it, fans. No! Riddle drove Mark Angelicetti into the mat head first, and somehow Mark still kicked out. He is impressive, isn't he? Mr. Touchdown just won't quit today at the Wrestle Factory against one of his toughest opponents to date. Healing himself up off the map, but it looks to me like Riddle's in a far stronger position to attack. But he dipped his shoulders, touchdown, scores! Huge spine buster, back press, hook of the leg! Oh no, Riddle barely brought the shoulder up. That might have been the closest yet. Oh, he springs into position. Now he's got that bro mission. Throwing a couple elbows into the trapezius region. He wants to soften Mark up, but he couldn't get it done. Mark's got to defend, and he's got to defend. Oh, calf cutter's on! Oh, instant tap out! Wildly painful hold. The calf cutter does the damage. Matt Riddle is your winner. That move can incur very serious injury, fans. Given the damage Matt Riddle did to the legs of Mr. Touchdown, Mark Angela said it comes as no surprise to me. You cannot hold on in a move like that for more than a few seconds. 
Matt Riddle, the very dangerous Matt Riddle, victorious over Mr. Touchdown, Mark Angelo Setti, today at Go Eat Worms.